In this example, u is the vector negative 2, negative 1, 1, and v is the vector 1, 1, 1. Let's find the projection of u onto v. So again, let the formula be your guide. You're going to memorize it. You might as well use it as, as your guide as to what steps to follow. So the projection of u onto v, once again, write it down every time you use it. That's another way to memorize it. u dot v divided by the magnitude of v squared. And one thing to remember is if, you, if that's all you write, it's not enough because the projection of u onto v is a vector, right? So you've got them, oh, it's a vector in the direction of v, the thing you're projecting onto, so you've got to multiply that times v. So this is the scalar that you multiply times the vector v. What does that formula tell you you need to do? Let the formula be your guide. Look at the numerator in that scalar. Look at the numerator. What does it tell you you need to find? Dot product. Dot product. U dot v. So uh, look at u, look at v. What's, what are we gonna, what's that going to be? Show the work a little bit, at least. It's going to be pretty easy since you have all ones here, right? Well, it really just means you're going to add the components of u together, right? So that's kind of interesting. Negative 2 plus a negative 1 minus 1 plus 1. So negative 2, yeah? And then magnitude v squared. So just, just find the magnitude and don't put down the, except don't put down the, the square root, right? So what, what's that going to be? 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared, 3? Okay. So the projection then of u onto v is going to be what? Just out, what, what goes out in front? Negative 2 thirds. And then you could just write down the vector 1, 1, 1 if you want, or just v if you want. But for the next part of the problem, we're going to need uh, to use it. So let's go ahead and do the scalar multiplication and get negative 2 thirds, comma, negative 2 thirds comma negative two-thirds. So that's one way to write your answer. Everybody with me? Conceptually, these formulas are not difficult, but it, it, in practice, it's easy to make a mistake, though, as with anything else. So practice these problems. Um, well, we're going to need a picture for the second part, but let me read the second part. It says, for part B, find the vector component of u orthogonal to v. Wait a minute. Or, what does orthogonal mean? Perpendicular. Perpendicular. Okay. You're going to need a picture. I haven't defined this yet. So let's, let's draw a picture. Um, again, this time I'll, I'll say u is this guy. And we'll say v is, ooh, that's not very straight. Say V is this guy. And you know what the projection of U onto V looks like if you project this down, the tip of U down onto V at a right angle. This time I'm going to make it red. Then the vector in red is the projection of U onto V. Nothing new. I'm going to call that, for ease of symbolism, I'm going to call that W1. Once more, that's the component of U. We, we call that the, the vector component of U in the direction of V. So that's what we just found, right? This vector that we just found is parallel to V. But that's not what they asked you for. They asked you for the vector component of u orthogonal to v. So let's, let's do a quick zoom. So in this picture, the vector component of u orthogonal to v is this guy. <coughs> and it actually does point that way. That is what we want in part b. Vector component of u, I'll use that perpendicular symbol, upside down t from geometry, perpendicular or orthogonal to v. That's what we mean by that. 
But here's the, we, we call that W2, by the way. So we, we call that W2. We call the, uh, the, the parallel component, um, we, we, that, that's the projection of U onto V. We call that W1. We call the orthogonal component W2. And they're both components of U. In other words, what I'm really saying here, if you think about the triangle law, W1 plus W2 by the tri triangle law has to be U. If you look at the picture you, and you understand the triangle law, you'll believe that. How do we apply the triangle law? Well, we're putting the, the yellow vector, W2, its tail on the tip of the vector in red, W1. And then the blue vector is, uh, is connected from the tail of, of W1 to the tip of W2. That's the triangle law, right? So by, by the triangle law, W1 plus W2 is equal to U. That's good news. Because we can use this equation to figure out the components of W2 because we know W1 from part A. And we know U from the given problem. Everybody with me? Okay, so we'll close out the class. We've got just enough time to do that. Um, so using that result, W1 plus W2 equals U. Uh, we can actually treat this like a regular, I mean, these are vectors, right? Sometimes I'm like you, I forget to write the vector symbols. But uh, this is a vector equation, right? But we can treat it like a real numbered equation. We want W2 symbolically, what do we do? W2, that's the orthogonal component of U. So that's, that's perpendicular or orthogonal to V. That's going to be what? U minus, think of this as just a real valued equation, real numbers. It's not, but you can think of it that way. U minus W1. But, okay, so, but these things are vectors, so you have to do this you know, component-wise. All right, so what is uh, U? I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Negative 2, negative 1, 1. So negative 2, negative 1. Well, I don't know why I'm kind of slanted here. I'll try and straighten out. And then minus um, W1, that was, that was the one with, oh, all negative 2 thirds. Yeah, I should have remembered that. Okay. So minus this vector. That's W1. Now, the only thing that's hard here is fractions, right? <laughs> okay, so, um, and you have to remember that it's minus uh, whatever's over here, right? So it's going to end up being plus two-thirds, plus two-thirds, plus two-thirds to all the components here, right? So what's negative two plus two-thirds? Negative four, so think of negative two as negative six-thirds, right? Multiply by the common denominator. So negative four-thirds, everybody with me? Okay, negative one is negative three-thirds plus two-thirds. What's that? Negative one-third. And then this is positive one. So three-thirds plus two-thirds. Five-thirds. And if you were to get some graph paper out and graph both W1, we found in part A, W2 we just found, and then the original vector, um, and, 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 you know, graph U, graph V, graph W1, graph W2, you, you will get a picture that looks like that. You have to draw everything to scale and be very careful, but it will work.